Hey, what's up, everybody? Brent from Brent Speed. Thanks so much for watching Brent Speed TV. Today it's an 07 Shelby GT, laying down sick numbers, NA, you know, three valve Mustang, over 380 real horsepower. But hey, wait, what? Is it almost 400 real horsepower? This is going to be an educational video. We're going to talk about dynographs. Doesn't matter if you have a Coyote or a three valve or a GM or whatever, this is going to be some cool info for you. I'm gonna answer some questions a lot of you don't ask, but it's gonna be awesome. So hey, if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe and notify us safe today. I have Doug with me. We're gonna go check out the build. We're gonna watch the down pull and talk more about it. All right, I wanna get in the backstory in this car, but what do we have here? A 93 octane, mean on transmission, Shelby GT, but this car was already you know full of NA mods back in the day. So we had the Ford Racing Manifold, Throttle Body GLT, Instead of the Trait Rocker Cams, he called and said, Hey, I want to get your B302 Stroker engine, which we just finally re released because a lot of you three valve fans out there are talking about that 326 that we had forever. It's been unavailable for three years. And then this video, I'll talk about how you can get the 302 right now. And he also had on hand, because he's got a bunch of cars, a set of CNC ported heads from Ford Racing that we installed on this. But Doug, come down, take a look. So what do we have? What's on this three valve? So we have the Ford Racing Manifold, Ford Racing Throttle Body, Twin 62, GLT Air Induction System, set of Detroit Rocker Cams, and our 302 cubic inch built engine. And, you know, Cook's one and three quarter long tube headers. But he originally sent this car up from Texas because he was gonna, you know, have this build this. And then he also had a Roush supercharger on hand from an old vehicle we're going to put that on last minute he decided hey i just want to keep this car in a might put the roush on at a later time but he had these other parts so that's what we have on it it's a cool build it's in a we're only talking nine and a half to one compression which is great for a blower you know if you want to do a full solid in a build i'd go higher compression than that but when we first started building this he was going to do blower but now we're in eight, so it is what it is. Check out this dyno pull, and then we're gonna talk about the numbers and what we can do in the future. Check it out. I'm going to address a couple things right up front. So if you haven't, please subscribe and notify and go through those three valve videos because you'll see all kinds of cars like this with the basic bolt-on mods, not the engine, not the heads, laying down around 330, 335 real horsepower. That's pretty common on a car like this, the manual transmission. But this baby laid down 382, or did it lay down more than that? We're going to talk about those numbers. But Ford Racing Manifold, throttle body, those two combined are called a power-up kit. I'll put a link in the description. You can click on and see what those cost. Detroit Rocker Cams, set of long tube headers, GLT air induction system, and our tune. It's a cool setup. But first, Doug, come over here and take a look. These are great numbers. 382 roll horsepower, peaking at 6,400 RPM. 353 torque, peaking at 4,700. Awesome power across the curve. Like I said, I'm going to do some education here. Most cars like this are like that 330, 340 range. This is a lot more. And that is because the stroker engine, like I said, he was going to get the blower. He said last minute not to. You change his mind down the road. He'll be able to do that. And this is that ported heads. And the ported heads on an NSR cam like the Rocker aren't going to add a lot of power. Maybe just a little bit. But they're really designed for like a really big camshaft. But... We're talking about that number. Duck, come over, take a look. So 382, 33, Dynojet, S-A-E. What happens, no one ever asked this, smoothing five. What if I change smoothing to zero? All right, all that is, is how much this graph, you know, is not choppy. So 
smoothing five it's a very smooth graph so now this car is making 388 we haven't done anything different 354 torque dynojet sae doug you ready for standard oh yeah standard's a big thing in the hemi world if you watch hemi videos almost every one of those dyno graphs are standard i don't know why they do it because we like sae here it's just a rating we're not changing anything on the car we're just changing the way the dyno shows the graph but standard we're going to change that real quick maybe hemis feel like they need a uh, higher number so they do this we're going to change that from sae to standard we're going to apply it and we're going to get rid of this right here boy we're at 397 roll horsepower almost at 6500 rpm torque comes in 363 4700 huge difference so a lot of you you know watch our videos and you leave comments i saw this video i saw this video this car made this this is an na3 valve and when you like watch some of these supercharged videos that spread you saw different from the 382 to the 397 goes way higher when you're talking a blower car i mean a lot so you need to pay attention to that that's my education for today but pretty awesome 07 shelby gt just under 50,000 miles we built a lot of cars for him he's out of texas he just really wanted the 302 in there with the heads he already had and he was going to do the blower and he said last minute not to so it's na we'll probably put that blower on the next year but now you might have questions tell me the story on the 302 tell me about the 326. prior to covid ford racing has discontinued the block they keep pushing out a year 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 i say discontinued but that's just because they keep pushing it out that boss block so we're now with 326 so we brought back the 302 which we have you know stroker crank you know awesome rods awesome pistons so now you can add a bunch of boost to your three valve we actually have these short blocks in stock but they're install only not available from mail order so you can email quote at brentspeed.com what's that short block cost to get installed we have other options if you want porting if you want bigger camshafts but hey this is just a cool na build this is going to be a fun car again if you have questions leave that comment happy to answer open that description i'll put links to all these bolt-on parts because you can put them on your stock car no big deal make 330 340 the tires it's pretty cool but that's it for today hope you like seeing this shelby gt it's kind of rambling i want to show you the dyno graphs i want to talk a little bit about the engine in that description i am going to put a link to this 302 which i don't have the link ready yet it's going to be about a week till it's in there but you can email quote at brentsme.com and say what's that cost to get installed but if you're watching this a week after this video is released open that description you can read a lot more about that short block thanks for watching